Hi Stampers, my name is Sandy Hancock. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I welcome you to Utterly Awesome Stamping. Today I'm going to show you a very fun fold that is super easy. It just does this. Okay, really easy. I have, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have seven samples all together, so hang in there. I have a lot to show you. So first of all, let me show you just how to do the, the card. It's very simple. You're going to be happy. You are going to be very happy that it's so easy to do. All right. You got it? All right. So the first thing we're going to do is take... Let me get all this stuff out here. Okay. So we're going to take a piece of 8.5 by 5.5 cardstock. You're going to score it in half. Then with your cutter you want to cut off one and one quarter inches of uh, width off the front. Okay, So you're going to cut that off. Then this part you're going to take and score in half. This is five and a half inches so this is going to be scored at two and three quarters. Okay, Then this becomes the band that goes across the front. So you haven't even had to <clears throat> get extra cardstock to make this. It's quite fun. All right, so now let's put this together. So the first thing I'm going to do is, oh, you know what? Maybe I'll put the designer paper on the front first. I'm using, I think I'll turn it this way. I'm using the Art Gallery DSP, Fine Art Floral is actually what it's called, Fine Art Floral, which I absolutely love. So I'm going to put that on the front. This front piece, you have three inches left. So your designer paper is going to be two and three quarters across the width and five and a quarter this way. Okay, so now let's put the band on. And um, what I did, instead of trying to refigure it each time where I wanted the band, I just measured up from the point up to here, two and three quarter inches. It, and I'm putting the top of the band at the two and three quarter inch part. So I just put a little tiny pencil mark and then I'm going to cover up the pencil mark. So I will put, I think, there we go. I'm going to put this stamp and seal on both sides because I need it to stick on both sides. Okay, let me turn this around just so I can. Okay, so all I'm going to do is I'm going to line this right up with the edge because I want it right at the edge. And then I'm getting it straight. Okay, so now we've got this. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we want to take this <coughs> designer paper and this is the back side of the front. So this is the back side. And I think it looks kind of pretty together. So we're just going to take that and put it along the edge of the white. The white is traditionally what you would put inside of a card. It's five and a quarter by four. Okay, so now we've got this ready to put in. We're going to put the panel in. Okay, now here's one little thing. <clears throat> I want you to notice is that I'm not putting it, you know, closer to the right edge. I'm going to put it a little closer to the left edge, and I'll tell you why. Because this band, let me see if that looks okay. Yeah, this band has to go over whatever you put here. And the less it has, if it has a little space before it goes down, it just closes better. So you want to use your bone folder really, really well. Okay, now, so except for the, um, okay, so here we go. Now, on the front, you could do one of two things. You could put the gorgeous flower from the art gallery bundle, or if you want to keep it more simple, look what you could do. Just simply put a greeting, and this greeting, again, is from Happy Thoughts. This is the set that's got the basics, happy birthday, thinking of you, thank you, congratulations, with a beautiful font, and three greetings that go inside. So I am very partial to that set. I've been using it a lot. 
And then this is the layering um, shapes. So there are square, four squares, four circles, and four uh, ovals. Now, if you don't want to use your machine to actually cut out something, you want to save time. Maybe you have old uh, retired punches that are either circles or ovals, and it would make a lovely top piece to go on here. So just whatever um, is the easiest for you because if you're making maybe a number of cards and you want to make them quickly, then I would just say if you have to cut them out on a machine, then you know how you can cut out two at a time. You can put two thicknesses together and sometimes even three depending on your machine. I did put some layers underneath this. I didn't want it as high as dimensionals. So I just take a retired punch and I just punch out some extras, whatever you have, you know. I just like three layers to give it a little bit of oomph. Okay, so there's this one. And then I took the, um, oh, I did want to say I did the stamping in real red. And this flower is also real red. Even though the paper is Poppy Parade, it's a nice contrast. And it, it looks, in my opinion, it pops a little bit more than the um, Poppy Parade. Okay, so that's that card. Now I want to show you a blue one that I did. This is Pretty Peacock. I, the same idea, I just used that. Pretty Peacock Stampin' Blends. Now, this paper that you see right here is the back of this paper. This is more of the fine art floral. So, so beautiful. If you don't like that as a contrast, you could just take a piece of Pretty Peacock and uh, use the, the uh, painted texture embossing folder. It makes the card a little bit darker, but if you don't care for the paper, that's what you could do. I don't know that a white strip, just leaving it white, adds that much to the card, but I'm okay with the paper. I think it's kind of a pretty contrast. Then, of course, if you wanted to, you could stamp a flower and peacock and add it to the front. So whatever you like the best works. Okay, then one more of the Fine Art Floral, and that is going to be the Rococo Rose. Now on this one, I'll have to show you that the contrasting side of this doesn't work. Okay, so here's the beautiful side. I'm not saying this isn't pretty, but I don't think it works here. So I did take a piece of Rococo Rose I used the, the uh, painted texture embossing folder on it, and um, I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, so there's the fine art florals. Then I wanted to just show you what happens if you use a white card, because it changes it up just slightly. So this paper is from the uh, celebration set called Flower and Field. Absolutely love it. And this is the back side of the daisy paper. However, you're going to run into a little bit of a situation because remember how we cut this at one and a quarter? Well, when you open this up to put it inside, okay, see how you've got two and three quarter inches here of the band? Well, look, you've only got like an inch-ish here. So you're going to have this band showing. So here's what you do to remedy that. Since this band is a tiny bit more than an inch, I'm just going to cut this down let me find the one inch mark. I'm going to cut it down to one inch. You don't have to have the entire width of the band uh, showing, or I mean for support. You don't need that much for support. And so once again, I'm going to turn this around. Once again, I've marked it at two and three quarters. It just seems to be my favorite place. And I'm going to be really careful to get it straight, to get it even with the edge. Oops, don't do that. Okay, so now I'm going to take the contrasting, I'm going to close this, take the contrasting designer paper, and lay it down. Oops, oh, I moved it. Oh, well, I guess it would help to put some adhesive on there. Uh, yeah, don't do that. Okay. <clears throat> you guys say you love it when I make mistakes or boo-boos, so there you go. 
All right, so now be careful. <clears throat> when you lay it down, make sure you're getting it straight. All the way down. Does that look good? I think so. Okay. So see, now when you open your card, you don't see the little extra band piece coming out. Okay, then I just used my two daisy punches. This is the daisy punch and this is the medium, the small one. So I have two larges and one medium. And again, I'm taking the leaves from the um, apple builder punch. It's just this cutest little leaf right here that works perfectly with the daisy. I put a little daisy inside. I just think that adds, it makes my heart smile when I see that. And then uh, this doesn't have a greeting. You could either put a, you could stamp a greeting in here or you could just write a note. It depends on how much you want to say. Now here's another option. If you want to do the designer paper without the black layer, uh, that's how I've been doing the other cards. You certainly could just use the designer paper without the extra black layer. I'm a little partial to the extra black layer, but it really is whatever suits you. You know, that's going to be the most important thing. Okay, now I want to show you this uh, bundle that is available. You may recognize this Hey Chick set because it was a part of the 2017 celebration items. And because I was on a farm for a little while when I was growing up, I'm a little bit partial to chicks and to roosters, even though uh, there are no roosters in this set. My dad raised chickens and roosters for my entire life, uh, except for their last move. Their neighbors didn't like chickens, so okie dokie. Um, he didn't have chickens. But, uh, so anyway, you may still have this set. Let me show you the information. If you have the set, then all you need is the dies. And let me show you what they look like. Whoops, just lost my egg. Okay, all right. So this, there are so many in here, and I, let me show you up close what some of them look like cut out. So love this, um, I don't know if you call it barbed wire fence, I don't see any barbs on the wire, but it still just reminds me of barbed wire. And then we've got the, the hen house, we've got the corn stalk, the little corn with the husk, a sign, the stump, and then of course we've got the three chickens, and we've got the little egg. And then this is, a. Uh, like, uh, well, I don't know what you call that. I couldn't think of a name of it. Um, anyway, okay, so then I'm just, I'm beginning to do this, use my magnetics. Uh, this, these are Amazon magnetics, and uh, yeah. So anyway, I'm, that way when I open this up, I've got my magnetics right there. Here's the information if you're interested. You may need to get some empty stamp cases. Let's say you have ovals or squares or circles and they don't really come with a set. Then you can purchase these um, empty cases. They're called standard stamp cases. The number is 119105 and there are three of them for $8. And so that way, see these are my hearts, the stitched hearts. And I just put one of these on each side and they come uh, five by seven, so they're the perfect size to fit in there. I'll show you, they look like this. Perfect size to fit into a stamp case. And you simply peel off the backing. It's very sticky. And so you just peel off the backing and just stick it right in to the left, to the side of your case that doesn't have the stamps on it. Yeah, so you can keep yourself really organized. The reason I was highly motivated to do this when a friend told me about it recently is because I just lost two dies out of one of my sets. I was uh, slightly sad. Okay, so now I'm going to show you the three cards I've made with the Hey Chick set. This one is a little on the easier side. We've got the barb fence cut out, the wire, and then you could simply stamp the chicken on here. I colored with uh, Smoky Slate, light and dark, and then of course real red. I went ahead and cut her out and cut out three. I often do that instead of using dimensionals. So anyway, that's what I did, but you could easily stamp the chick right on the white cardstock. This designer paper is the True Love series. It's part of the Love You Always um, suite. 
And then I just added the saying that's from the set, have a happy day, put in some of these black matte dots, which I absolutely love. I mean, if you know me, you know I love black and white, so I just love the combination of those. And then at, under the hen's feet, I'll have to show you, I stamped the uh, sand from high tide, and then I stamped the sand from in darker, in uh, basic gray. The uh, Friends Are Like Seashells has a little bit of sand there just to put something under the chick's feet. But again, you can be creative. Uh, you could just put you know, those kind of swirls with your pen. You could certainly do that and keep it a little bit easier if you don't have those particular sets. I did raise up the black piece on dimensionals, but that is a relatively simple card. And then inside, I just put the red hen house. I wanted to make those hens really happy and then put some more of the sand. Okay, so there's that one. Then I went back and I used the same, this new fold, the band fold, I guess. I don't know what you call it. Uh, so here's our little chick with the ultra personality hair. I used one corn stalk with the corn and then put the sign inside and then filled up the side. I just kind of made it the same as same idea as what I have here. This is soft suede. And then this designer paper is the back of, let me show you, it absolutely killed my soul to use the back of it because I love the front of it. Absolutely love this designer paper. This is the back of it, but it seemed like it was the perfect fit color-wise for this chicken. So soft suede and bumblebee for this card. Okay, then the last one that I'm gonna show you is this one. So we've got the silver hen house. Same idea, except this time I used three stalks of corn. And the my friend told me I needed a blackbird on there. And the only blackbird I could find that was big enough was from the Many Hearts Dies. There is a bird in Grace's uh, garden, but it's so tiny. It looked like a little, I don't know, what it, you, could, you couldn't even see it on here. So I went back to the blackbird from Many Hearts Dies and I'm pretty happy with that. Okay, the designer paper is Smoky Slate and it's from the neutral set. So each color family has a set of uh, designer papers that goes with it and this is the neutrals. So Smoky Slate and Basic Gray and then inside I just did the same where I put this sign, have a happy day and let it go down into a stump. So pretty easy. The design is easy. There was a lot of cutting to this card to get ready for it, so send it to somebody you love. All right, so that is it. I hope that this has been fun for you. Let me just show you this one again. Yeah, this is really easy. Cut off an inch and a quarter, fold it in half, and boom, there's your armband. I hope you have a lot of fun making this card. If you've enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and visit my blog, sandystamper.com. I will look forward to having you back the next time.